Ooh la la, that is really you. They played with books and blocks and sometimes bingo. Lily read the letters O37 and someone always yelled BINGO and that was the end of the game and if you won you got a small heart-shaped velvet box filled with delicious chocolates that melted all over your tongue like a dream of sugar and cherries. Portland Carnival was filled with bright lights and smells both good and bad. Lily and Junebug visited the big yellow tent with crazy drawings of girls with mustaches and guys with feet like a duck's. There was a snake charmer named David and a girl named Trixie with a brassiere with three cups. The music passed over them and they walked to the Ferris wheel. There was a clown with a spooky laugh perched above a water tank and he dared Lily and Junebug to try to get him wet. They ate some candied apples, pizza with mushrooms, and giant pink afros of cotton candy. Lily stepped in a big brown pile by the elephant's cage, and they knew then that they should be getting back. They said goodbye to the turtle boy, and he sweetly waved a flipper, asking them to come back again tomorrow.
Sous les pierres, la plage. May I take your order, please? Thank <laughs> you.